need to make Fluffy a shaggy chic sweater. It might be a bit surprising to some, but the sewing table and craft room have tools that can literally burn your house to the ground. Today we're going to cover five of the most dangerous tools in the home craft world. One, steamers and hot irons. One vivid memory from being 12 was having an iron burn the whole left side of my palm because I was distracted for a fraction of a second. Steamers and irons probably account for more sewing room injuries than any other tool. Irons get liquid hot in seconds, and steamers are hot enough to soften permanently pressed plastic materials. Alright miss, is your skin red, swollen, or painful to the touch? I don't know, it's still attached to the iron. Should I bring it with? 2. Sewing pins. Are you one of those people who puts pins in their mouths while they're sewing? There was a lady in Australia who ended up inhaling one of those pins. There have been several cases of people swallowing pins and needles that ended up in all sorts of places that required immediate emergency surgery. The lady who inhaled the pin almost had it puncture her lung. Uh-oh. Three, box cutters, roller blades, and misplaced scissors. We probably don't need to describe too much here. Accidents happen. And when you work with tools that are described as knife sharp, you're gonna get a cut. Let's describe some of the otter accidents though. I got cut by my roller blade once because I left it in a box of tools and forgot it was there. Yeah, grabbing the blade end of a roller blade was not fun. Can you see a pizza cutter accident? Another time, I stabbed myself in the head with a pair of dress shears because they were sticking straight out from my tool wall and I bent down to pick something up. Stabbed me right in the forehead, and I'm lucky they didn't stab me in the eye because I definitely would be blind in one eye now. Be mindful of where you store sharp things because they could come back to bite ya. <laughs> Oops. Four, soldering irons and hot knives. Remember how we told you there are sewing tools that can literally burn your house down? These tools aren't only responsible for causing numerous house fires, they also can cauterize your skin in seconds. And you can bet, just like fabrics, they'll cut through you like butter. The biggest problem with these tools is they can't be left alone at all. They're so hot they can light paper on fire immediately. Five, your brain. Nothing can put you in more danger than your own mind. If you are tired or distracted, these mishaps are way more likely to happen. The closest I got to putting a needle through my finger was when I was tired. That time I put a soldering iron tip in my finger was when I was talking on the phone. My aunt once sewed through her finger because she was watching TV yelling at her kid and sewing at the same time. That lady who swallowed a pin had been working super long hours. Make sure you're in the right mindset, and your crafting experience will involve a lot less grievous bodily harm. If you've had any sewing or crafting accidents in the past, go ahead and tell us about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. And check out our description down below for our weekly giveaway. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you've had any sewing or crafting accidents in the past, go ahead and tell us about it in the comments. <laughs> so I'm so happy about it. If you'd like to share any of your sewing or crafting mishaps, just leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear about it. That sounds really creepy. I'm doing it again. <laughs>